Well, hello there, Maria here with a little video about uh, making your own clay beads. So I had some paper clay that was getting a bit dry, so I decided to make some beads to, so I didn't have to throw out the clay. And uh, so I made a bunch and then I painted them. So I'll show you. I'll show you them the process. Um, so what you do with the clay, you just roll it between your hands and then use a toothpick to make a hole from both ends. So it's an even, pretty even hole. So it couldn't be easier. And it takes about two days to dry, maybe two days, depending on how cold or hot it is. So here are some painted ones. As you can see, I have tried to use all of my paint colors, and uh, I used uh, artist paints, but you can use any craft paint. And I also have these um, very shiny uh, metallic colors from Arteza. I like them. You definitely have to paint more than one coat. I did paint two coats on everything, and then I used... Uh, uh, markers. I have these painter's pens from Elmer's or the Posca pens. All kinds of colors you can use to draw lines. You want to have them uh, permanent because uh, you're going to, I mean, if you want to, you can varnish the beads after you're done. And I'll show you real quick. I used the Dura Clean, Dura Clear satin varnish just to get it a little sheen it's a polyurethane satin varnish from americana deco art so i really like this it dries uh, quickly it smells a little bit but uh, i don't know what to say about that <laughs> an open window maybe so That's about, it looks high gloss, but it will dry to a set. So I will use toothpick to, you can, that varnish flows very quickly and easily. So you can reach all the corners quickly. I'll show you another one here where I used mixed i had uh, paint pens and artist pens it's good to have a big stash of toothpicks when you do this because each one will take a toothpick i love the way they look so i <clears throat> i'll show you i made some of these shiny ones they have two coats and you can also make some impressions with the with some when the when the clay is wet. These are so festive looking. So you might wonder why I made them. Well, I did make them because I wanted to use up the clay, but I also made them because. Um, I have this frame that has a really ugly um, hanger. Let me show you. So this is like an art frame. I haven't primed it or anything, but you see it has rope hanger like that. And it has some really strong um, with staples. Small. Now you couldn't really hammer or staple into this because it would break with a regular style staple. But I shall show you um, how you could fix that. Just a second here. I'll get my, I want to make a, a hanger. It doesn't have to be as big as the frame. You could make it as long as you want it, but say, well, I'm going to make it into 
a little bit of bend, so maybe a foot and a half. And got a snippet here with my metal snippers. This is a 19 gauge wire. I love it. So you want to start, say you wanted to put a, a bead at the top like that and then you want to make a loop you can do it around your finger and you want to put another bead make a loop or two you could make as many loops it's okay if they move you don't have to have them so even you could put a series of or smaller um, beads that's gonna go so you're gonna attach the bottom so I would take my brown nose pliers and oops make a loop like this like that and that will be attached to the back of of the frame so you can always rearrange if you're not happy with the way they um, fold or show up uh, on the frame you can always move and, and manipulate the wire in a way that you like so what I would do thought about that I would seeing as I can't hammer a, a staple in here I would glue this with with a, either super glue or craft glue and I would use a clamp to hold it down and then for strength I would use some epoxy clay which is super strong and once you attach that to anything it will stick like cement or you could put uh, a strong glue like E60, E6000 which is a jewelry glue comes in tubes like this or bigger tubes I would get the small ones because they dry up pretty quick and then just let it sit till it is dried like overnight and then you can keep manipulating your wire till you're happy and then attach it to the other end so that's a really artsy fartsy hanger for a frame especially if you if you're doing some kind of artwork that is um, you know boho uh, colorful funky looking so that's just a little tips about uh, making your own clay beads it's very easy it's a bit time consuming because you have to paint everything um, by hand but once you get it going and you have a bunch you will never have to look for beads again and then you have unique beads that you don't buy in the store so all right, good luck with that. Thanks for watching.